everybody's favorite day of the week. The day of the week where we ask ourselves, does this thing really work? And oh boy, I know I say this every single time I test anything out on this channel, but I am filled with hope and positivity that today's product is not only going to really work, but that it's going to be a product, like a brand new ugh, product favorite discovery that I can actually incorporate. I almost said in my weekly life, but then that just makes it sound like I only spring to life once a week, which is yeah, kind of true. Today we are going to be testing out a product called Bottle Bright. I know that I am somebody that is forever just mystified by the most mundane household products. I don't know why I'm so excited by stuff like this. Have you guys ever heard of a product like this? Console me in the comments down below if this is like a new, if this is like the first time that you're hearing about this as well. What these are are natural cleaning tablets. They're for water bottles and all kinds of like reusable containers, whatever your personal preference may be. Are you visco? Do you have a hydro flask? Nine times out of ten, actually every day of my life, multiple times a day, I am drinking out of Yetis. This isn't even like a tenth of my Yeti collection. I'm starting to think I'm about to be on an episode of my strange addiction Yeti collection. Edition. So first, I'm gonna lay on a little, you know, a couple little story times for you guys, because y'all y'all know I can't just like pick something up and jump into it. That's just how we do things here. So I have been using Yetis probably for about two years now, and nine tenths of the time I'm drinking either coffee or tea out of them, always iced, and I just drink out of them, wash them. I can put tea in it or coffee in it, and I don't have any sort of flavor residue, if that makes sense. But then I started really getting into the whole matcha green tea kick and so I would start also putting iced green tea into these Yeti tumblers. What do we call these things? I think they're officially called ramblers. That's when I first started to notice if I put green tea into one of these tumblers and then made a regular tea or a regular coffee in it later, even after washing it, it would still have a green tea flavor inside of it. I love green tea and I love coffee and I love regular tea, but I want those to be separate drinking experiences. I honestly stopped drinking green tea for a long time because most of my Yetis look like this. They're just the regular silver version. So there was no way I could have probably put a sticker on it. You know, sometimes I'm not that bright, okay? Uh, so I don't know, I just like kind of stopped making green tea at home because I didn't really like that flavor mix up. And like I said, I was washing it every single time. I never really considered like stainless steel to be a porous material. So I just didn't know if it was a figment of my imagination or what, you know? So that was the first like dirty problem I had with my Yetis, I guess. I don't know. And then the other thing, this is kind of like a creepy pasta. Okay. This is one of those things that I read on the internet. You don't really know if it's true or not like you sort of start to believe it and then you have to shame yourself for believing something so stupid but then it's like kind of on the cusp of believable so maybe it is true oh my god where did I even freaking read this but supposedly there was this guy he was like sick super sick for months and months and months he went to the doctor they did all these tests like nothing was coming up what's going on oh my god and then he was like at the chiropractor <laughs> so supposedly this guy is like relating all this shit to the chiropractor the chiropractor looks over over. He just so happens with the insight of omniscient to see that the guy has brought in a reusable cup and I guess he had like noted that this particular patient always brought in a cup and he was like hey man can I look at your cup and the dude was like yeah sure and supposedly the chiropractor look at like the lid of the cup and he saw a bunch of I don't know mold or something and then deduced that the man was consuming invisible toxic mold and that is what was making him so sick so I don't know you know it real probably not horrifying for me kind of I was hanging out with Kat one day 
because now she lives like right down the block from me so it is just like a magical every other day friendship experience I get in my life now so I was like kind of relaying to her all of these various cup issues because we went to Starbucks and I got a green tea and then I told her why I didn't drink it at home anymore and it was this whole it was the whole story I just told you guys and so she mentioned to me that these things exist full circle right back to the actual product we're testing out today this is a fresh washed straight from the dishwasher Yeti cup and you can see inside of it there is a lot of staining. Now I'm gonna be honest I just assumed that this was like hard water residue. We do have hard water here so I mean a lot of times like stuff just kind of looks like that. It doesn't really mean it's dirty it just it just looks very dirty. Yeehaw welcome to Texas. Besides the flavor contamination thing that did not really bother me but what does bother me is what is going on with these lids. Yeti does make two kinds of lids. Look I'm a freaking official Yeti salesperson now. I prefer just these normal lids. Now this one does look kind of extra cloudy because I brought an assortment of cups to test today. Some that did just come from the uh, washing machine and some that I just like poured my old tea out of. So this one, this one does look dirtier than usual, but I just feel like these lids always come out of the dishwasher looking cleaner. But these freaking mag slider lids, okay? That's what these are called because they have a magnetic slider. I love the ability to be able to like seal these up and take them on the road. I feel like these never really look that clean. They just look kind of kind of unpleasant. I bet you all wanted to come here today and look at my dirty lids. So I don't know. It's just like every time I see these lids, the creepy pasta chiropractor story comes flooding back in my mind. And I'm like, am I drinking mold? How will I ever know? I mean, I feel like clearly this isn't like ridden with mold because I feel like there would be some kind of smell to it. It smells clean. Like it's from the dishwasher, but it looks dirty. I don't like it. Any freaking way. So we're going to try and clean some cups. We're going to try and clean some lids and our life is going to be better hopefully after today. So I ordered these on Amazon. I don't know if they sell them at, I almost said freaking Waterburger. Do they sell these at Waterburger? Uh, do they sell these at Walmart? I don't know. This is what they look like. Now I will say, I don't know what kind of switcheroo is going on here because when I read the description, it was supposed to be all natural ingredients. I thought like it listed things like like wood. I'm comfortable with drinking wood. If there's like a little wood residue in these cups, you know, I feel like I could go outside to nature, lick a tree, and come home and live to tell you guys about it. But, you know, do I want to be drinking sodium carbonate peroxide? Sodium laurel glaumate? They say the hotter the water inside the cups, the more effective that it's going to be. They say that you can let them go for 15 to 30 minutes or if it's like super duper stained and dirty, they say that you can use hot water and then let it set overnight. Welcome to the inside of cups. This one is fresh from the dishwasher. This one, I just dumped a drink out of it. I had a chocolate coffee in here. I kinda wanna see what it does if you're like kinda lazy and just dump the drink out and then just immediately try and clean it. This one had tea inside of it and then this one had tea in it but I rinsed it out. Over here in Tupperware land I'm gonna try and do an assortment of lids. I wish that these were clear so that we could kind of see like how much it's gonna bubble but I thought while the water was at its hottest oh I opened this up and like white powdery stuff is flying out. I feel like these are like forbidden warheads or something. Okay so this is what it looks like. Um, There you go. Let's go ahead and drop it in. Ooh, mm, kind of satisfying. I don't know why I thought I was just gonna drop this in here and it was gonna be like, <gasps> like witch's brew or something. Cause it's not doing that. Ed and just like set a stopwatch kind of thing and see how long it looks like it's actively bubbling and fizzing. I'm kind of curious, is it gonna like bubble and fizz for 15 minutes? I'm somewhere along the way brainwashed to think bubbles equals cleanliness. So I'm already looking at this and I 
I feel some satisfaction that it's doing something, but we shall see. I found a little bit of wasabi tape, so I went ahead and marked. This is the cup that had already been taken like fresh out of the dishwasher. So if I'm being honest, this one is the one that I'm most curious to see what the results are gonna look like. Are they gonna be drastically different? Is all the staining going to be gone? And then this one, you guys, is so nasty. This is the lazy cup that just had the chocolate coffee in it and it honestly looks like watered down chocolate milk in this cup. I am disgusted. Let's get some up close tablet dropping action. The water feels just a little bit steamy when I put my hand on top of it, so it's pretty hot. I mean, I tried to get it as hot as I possibly could without like using boiling water. There, you guys can see. I don't really think you can hear any satisfying bubbles. Can you imagine if I drop this tablet in and the water magically goes clear? That's if it was one of those like scam ads that I love so much. Ooh, that water is like so hot. It is hot to submerge my hands and you know what? Maybe four lids is too many lids. I'm kind of torn whether I should put one or two tablets in here. I mean, nowhere does it say use two tablets, but obviously this is way more water in here than in the tumbler cups, but I don't know. We'll do one. We'll come back in 30 minutes and uh, see what it looks like. The first cups have been sitting in there now for almost 20 minutes. I am just gonna go take a nice walk with Dog Man, you know, for about 30 more minutes or something, and then come back and kind of let everything just brew for a really nice long time and come back and see where we're at, since obviously you can leave it in overnight. And I feel like I should just put this little disclaimer in there, because I think people think that I'm like totally just like, uh, about germs, which I am. And I do know that there is like good bacteria and bad bacteria, and I know that we have like bacteria crawling all over our bodies. I don't care about that. I'm not bothered by that. Obviously, I love good bacteria, but any bacteria or mold or fungus which is going to make me sick or make me feel bad or make me throw up, that is bad bacteria, and I would like to eradicate it as much as possible. Like, obviously, we're humans here on Earth. Like, we can only get things so clean, but, I mean, I don't really see any problem with just, like, adding products like this in my life and in my routine if it is going to make a difference and make things a little bit cleaner and if it's not harmful. I don't think this is harmful. Maybe there would be like a difference of opinion in the comments, but I don't know. I just want to like make things as clean and as sterile as I possibly can. I also got some better footage of the lids on my iPhone, which I am very excited to share with you guys so that we can really see a before and after. And when I was filming those clips, I was more able to tell which lids I had just like freshly dumped liquid out of and which of the lids had already been through the dishwasher and still had, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it is just hard water residue or whatever, but hopefully this is gonna remove whatever it is. We shall see. I'll see you guys in like 40 minutes. Bye! We have come back from our walk and the cups have been soaking for right about an hour and 40 minutes. So hopefully we are gonna see some impressive results here. I uh, did some up close shots just so you guys could kind of see how all of the cups are looking now. Some of them look like the water is clearer. Some of them look more cloudy. I don't think there's any hope for this one. It was just maybe kind of a joke. All right, you guys, I feel like this might be the most thorough video about cups. More information than you guys ever want about cups. But I will say I was about to come here and get very sassy because I did not think that it worked that well. So this one, like I thought, is just a lost cause. There's still a lot of the thick chocolate coffee in the bottom, which makes me question what I am consuming that is sitting inside my body. And then I wanted to just show you guys what it looks like once the treatment is done. If you just 
pour it out and don't rinse it. So I have like an up close shot of this as well. The Whataburger one looked like it worked pretty well, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like when you use the tablet and then just rinse it out a few times with water. Moving on, uh, this is the cup that I was most concerned about after I had done the whole tablet thing, rinsed it out and looked at it again and refilled it with water. You guys are clearly going to be able to see it still looks really gross and dirty. It looked like the staining had not been lifted. And it's kind of funky because they literally, I don't think, tell you anywhere on the package to wipe it really thoroughly. They just tell you to empty and rinse the bottle. Rinse, not wipe. But in order for this product to really work, you do have to vigorously wipe it. I think pretty quick after you dump the tablet out while it is still wet. Um, I have a grotesque shot of what was wiped out of this cup, like the residue, because I used a washcloth. Now I am thoroughly impressed. This looks like the inside of a brand new Yeti that I just ordered off of Amazon. Really, it is the wiping once you have used this tablet to, I guess, like soften or loosen up the residue, you're able to wipe it out and thoroughly clean it. So I feel like wiping is in fact the most important step. Maybe that's obvious. Maybe that's why they don't write it on the package. I'm just telling you guys. Uh, sometimes I can be a little ditzy. I'm sure I'm not the only one. And now we are on to our lids, which you guys, I am maybe a little bit disturbed by these the closer that I look at them. I guess I just use them day in and day out and wash them and I don't really too much think about them. I have been using Yetis for years now so some of them are years old and it's probably just time to replace them. I'm sure I'm going to get some very interesting comments in the comments. I I don't know if it's mold. I really don't. Some of them look a lot cleaner than others. I am surprised how much, you know, just dirtiness was lifted off of these because like I said, three of them were just like fresh off of drinks that I had recently drank and only one of them had already previously gone through the dishwasher. I should have marked that one in some way too so I would know which one that is. But as I'm showing you guys this up close footage, the mag slider ones, for whatever reason, probably because they do have these extra components, they just seem nearly impossible to completely get dry, which is of course how like mold and stuff grows is from moisture just sitting around. Like I'm not kidding. I wiped these 500 times and slid them back 500 times and there is still um, uh, you know, water left behind in here. I do see like just some, I don't know. I don't really know if it's mold. I don't know if it's mold. Science, is it mold? It, it, it looks kind of gross. It looks unpleasant, which I mean, once again, how much of that kind of stuff can really make you sick? How much cannot, I mean, and also I feel like that varies individually by, you know, person from person, just what you're allergic to, how much, you know, how much exposure do you have to be exposed to before you start feeling sick? Who the hell knows? Moral of the very long story is I am actually really impressed by these things. I think I'm going to continue to buy them and use them. I'm probably going to give all of my older Yeti cups a thorough cleaning. Overall, I I feel like uh, using these things, it, it, it looks like it made a difference on every single thing, pretty much, except for the hopelessly dirty. This video was so long. I feel like sometimes I just get curious about things and then I will just <laughs> like tunnel vision and I, and I think you guys want an in-depth story about it. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Let me know if this is a product that y'all have seen in the wild before. Is it something you've tried? Am I the last person on planet Earth to hear about these things? I'm excited to update you guys in the future um, and let y'all know if my drinks like taste better. I think I'm still going to use a color coordinated method for the like matcha drinks and stuff like that just because I mean I wouldn't want to go through this like after every single time I drink out of these. I do think like just putting them through the dishwasher suffices for normal like cleaning and disinfecting purposes but let me know. 
I am curious to read the comments as always. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all again very, very soon. Bye!